Here is how to ruin your health in just a few easy steps. So hello, my name is Luke, I'm a nutritionist, and of course I'm not wanting you to ruin your health, but the premise of this video is based around the idea that we are much better at figuring out what not to do than sometimes what we should do. So enjoy this list of things that you can do to ruin your health. Step number one is you should always wait until tomorrow. You should never ever start doing something today. You should always just keep delaying, oh no, I'll do it tomorrow, it's gonna be all right, we'll, we'll start then. Step number two is you should always, always neglect the basics. You should always just focus on those crazy hacks that you see on Instagram. You should never ever just try thinking about eating a healthy, balanced diet. That's a terrible idea if you wanna ruin your health. So number three is you should always keep trying different things. Every day if possible, you should try a different diet, try eating all these crazy different foods, try different supplements all the time because if you're always trying different stuff, you're never gonna know what's gonna work and that's the perfect way to ruin your health. Oh, and number four relating to this, this is a great one. You should invest all of your time and energy into those hacks that you're seeing on Instagram. The crazier, the better, honestly, because the crazier it is, the more likely it is to not work, which the more likely it is to not help your health and actually help you to ruin your health. So number five is you should always expect everything to happen all at once. As soon as you start something, you should expect it to start working. And if it doesn't start working straight away and you don't start feeling way better and completely transforming your health, why bother doing it? Because if we're wanting to ruin our health, we don't want to have any consistency here. So we should always just expect it to be perfect and then give up straight away when it doesn't work. Number six is we should always just keep buying unhealthy food. Going to convenience stores, grocery stores, buying the most processed, packaged, colored, all of these things that we can find and buy as many of them as possible. We want to stay away from fruits and vegetables, whole foods. They're generally at the edges of the supermarket. We want to stay in the middle here. The brighter the colors on the box, the better you are. Seven is whenever we find something that is working, we should always stop doing it straight away. Because if we're trying to ruin our health, why would we keep doing something that's improving our health, right? Number eight is you should never ever control your environment. You should always keep putting yourself in situations where it's easy to overeat, where it's easy to eat unhealthy food, and you should always just keep bringing those foods into your home so it's so easy for you to keep eating them. This is a great thing to do if you wanna ruin your health. Okay, number nine, and this is a great one. You should always take advice from unqualified people. Honestly, the less qualified, the better here. So we're wanting to take our nutrition advice from people like chiropractors, from wellness influencers, basically anyone that's not a nutritionist or a dietitian, we should listen to what they have to say because they obviously have really good information that is gonna help us. Okay, and relating to this number 10, we should never ever listen to rigorous evidence. If something's a randomized control trial in humans, systematic review that's looking at thousands and thousands of studies, that's garbage if we wanna ruin our health. We wanna be looking at rat and mice studies. Maybe if soy was studied on testicles in a rat, we should definitely use that to inform if it's gonna affect our testosterone. So the key here, never ever listen to rigorous evidence. The crazier the evidence, the better. Okay, so this is another exceptional tip. Number 11, keep learning what to do. So always be listening to podcasts, watching YouTube, Instagram, reading books. Learn as much as you can of what to do, but don't do it. Because if we start doing the right things, that's not gonna ruin our health. We're gonna start getting better. So if you're wanting to ruin your health, don't ever start doing those things that you know you should be doing. This is honestly probably my favorite one. Number 12, give up as soon as it starts getting hard. Because it can be really hard if we are wanting to improve our health. So if we're wanting to ruin our health, we should obviously give up as soon as it starts getting difficult. Honestly here, the less resilience you have, the better. Number 13, always wait for someone else to do it for you. Why should you make that effort yourself? If you're wanting to ruin your health, you should just keep waiting for someone else to come and pull you out and do that hard work for you. Number 14, you should always blame everything else. Just keep blaming your environment, blaming your friends, your family, and never make any choices to empower yourself. 
If we're making choices to empower ourselves, this is just a terrible idea if we're wanting to ruin our health. So just always keep blaming everything else and just never ever take responsibility for your own health and that's the perfect way to ruin your health. Number 15 is you should always neglect your values. Never ever listen to that voice inside you that's telling you to make change, that's coming from your heart, telling you to do a certain thing. If we're wanting to ruin our health, we should never ever listen to this voice inside. Number 16 is we should always try and stay in our comfort zone to stay as comfortable as possible. We should never ever do something that challenges us or scares us or feels new. Because if we stay where we are, we know we're on the right path to ruining our health. And number 17, we should always wait until we're feeling inspired and good. We should never take any action unless we're not feeling our complete best. Because we're barely ever gonna be feeling really good, so this is a really good way to make sure we're not doing anything and that's gonna really help us to ruin our health. Okay, so obviously, if you are wanting to improve your health, you should do the opposite of everything in this list. Sometimes it can be helpful to think about what you shouldn't do and then just don't do that. <laughs> Use this as a tool. Think about what you shouldn't do and go out there and do the opposite. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Stay healthy, my friends, and I'll see you in the next video.